been hit with heavy rains, hail and strong winds. And from last night's storm, those in Atkinson County spent the day without power. Fox 31's Jessica Fairley caught up with crews working to get the lights back on. She connects us to this story. Atkinson County's Emergency Management Agency says until they talk with weather officials, they can't confirm whether or not a tornado touched down in the area. But they say the two irrigation pivots overturned in a field is proof that whatever came through held supernatural strength. Approximately 11 transmission poles are on the ground. Uh, Georgia Power's out there now uh, with their crews and also some of their contract crews. We've got crews from Brunswick, Statesboro, Albany, and Valdosta out here. Not only are the Atkinson County EMA concerned with the power, they say this outage directly affects the water supply. Because of the power being out, some of the lift stations and uh, the water plants have uh, power issues, so we're getting ready to go meet with him, uh, see what they need to do. We want to make sure we don't have any sewer water issues. Along this tree line behind me, there's about 10 trucks working to restore power. That's about 75 men who've run into a problem with wet soil. We're working in really harsh conditions and um, you know things can happen that would slow restoration down. He says although the workers are protected in wetsuits, the standing water and mud poses a threat to the machinery as it can get bogged down and stuck in one location. Since crews are out in heavy numbers, officials are hoping the minor setbacks don't stop their progress. To stay connected to this story, log on to MySouthwestGA.com. Jessica Fairley, Fox 31 News.